you've got to be here. You've got to come and see this. With the naked eye, this is just fantastic. It's really cool. Hello, today I am at one of my favorite festivals. This is an Okuribon festival that is generally on August 16th of every year. It's called Funeko Nagashi, in which these dragon boats that you can see behind me are set afire and pulled down the river by fellows wearing nothing but fundoshi in many cases, and sometimes with the mantra Namu Amida Butsa written on them. As you can see up there, the names of the people who have passed away, or rather the posthumous Buddhist names, are written on the boats. They're laden with fireworks in many cases, so they actually breathe fire during it. So, why all this? Well, then we have to get into what is Obon. Now, the Japanese festival of Obon varies in its season, depending on the region, but up here in Tohoku, it's August 14th through 16th. This is the Japanese answer to the Day of the Dead. Basically, despite the fact that this is technically a Buddhist festival, they somehow, despite the belief that Buddhism holds of reincarnation, also believe that the ancestors go off to some netherworld or heaven and then return August 14th through 16th every year, which in my mind always seemed a little bit odd because generally shouldn't they be reborn and be living in other babies or other, you know, lives? But anyways, let's forget about that. Let's not question the inconsistencies of various cultural and religious traditions. So. On August 14th, there are many ceremonies. They're welcome. They go to the graveyard. You wash the graves. There's a priest who comes out of the temple, because there's always a temple attached to the graveyards, and uh, does prayers and reads sutras. And then at the end, August 16th, um, at the end, this is Okuribon, or rather the sending away. So this is sending the spirits back to the other world. And what more glorious way to do it than putting them on dragon boats filled with fireworks and explosives and pulling them down the river as they burn. You can see why this is my favorite festival. And as if just the people pulling these burning dragon boats wasn't enough, this is about four festivals in one. After they do the burning boats, then they do something called Toro Nagashi, whereas paper lanterns are then set to drift down the river. After that, they have this crazy, ridiculously unsafe festival where they have, I don't think it's setting up yet, but there's this huge tower that they set up where they've got hay in the tower, and then local elementary school and junior high school students each carry little bundles of sticks, which are set aflame. So they're like holding bundles of kindling dangling from a little stick, and they swing them around like this and try and throw them up um, onto the this iron tower structure that is holding the hay and they're all in a circle around the tower doing this so it's really likely that they like hit each other with these bundles of kindling but somehow I've never seen that actually happen so maybe there's some trick to it they know that I don't and then as if that still wasn't enough after that there is a fireworks festival as this is an Okuribon event where they're sending uh, ancestors back into the other world there's of course local monks performing a service to that effect all the flyers, they tell you that it's starting at 4 p.m. It actually is now 20 after 5. You don't need to worry too much about missing the burning boats if you show up about an hour late for this festival. As you can see, the boats have started to go, and um, multiple fireworks are going into the air. They're on fire. If you want to document this, you want to bring at least a 300 millimeter lens on your camera to get good photos. And it becomes more picturesque after it gets dark. So there are paper lanterns here that they are then releasing into the river. And this is something that's done in and of itself to memorialize various things. So after, for example, anniversaries of the great East Japan earthquake and tsunami, they'll, they'll let these lanterns off. There is sort of a human train where they're passing the lanterns from hand to hand, which I'm sure has some sort of symbolic value. <laughs> This part is what I described before. There is a tower there where this stick is holding up straw. This is the sort of thing that would never be allowed in most countries because it'd be incredibly dangerous to have people stand in a circle and throw fire at each other, basically. They've just explained that elementary school students are throwing this. This particular ritual originated in Yamanashi Prefecture and it is symbolic, again, like everything here, of sending the spirits back to the other world. Oh, wow! I have 
I've seen this maybe five years. I've never seen them get it on the very first try. That is amazing. This video does not do justice to how much fun and how exciting this festival really is. This is one of my favorite events all year round here in Morioka. And I hope that this short video has given you a taste of that and inspired you to try and plan a trip around arriving near August 16th, which is the normal date that this Okuribon festival is held. Please come and see Funeko Nagashi for yourself.